begin tonight at five with the latest in the federal investigation of multiple Albuquerque police officers. Let me tell you, it is not sitting well with city leaders, and that was very obvious at last night's city council meeting. Several councilors criticized both the mayor's administration and the police department for what they're saying has been a lack of communication since this investigation was revealed. So we first reported Friday, the U.S. attorney is investigating multiple police officers connected to more than 150 dismissed DWI cases. We have team coverage on this topic tonight. I sat down with APD Chief Harold Medina this afternoon for an update on where the investigation stands and how it started in the first place. But first, Monica Lagronio starts with the concerns that came out of last night's city council meeting. So Monica, things got pretty heated. That's exactly right, Julie. Some counselors went as far as to blame the entire situation on a lack of leadership from the administration and APD. This administration needs to step up its integrity and deal with it. The lack of communication to the public is the biggest issue right now. Bring some communication and transparency and build the public trust that is lacking right now. You probably can't talk about it, which I know, but for us, it smells of corruption. For more than 20 minutes, Albuquerque City Councilors shared how disappointed they are in the lack of transparency in light of the federal investigation into multiple Albuquerque police officers. Thursday, the U.S. Attorney's Office confirmed they searched an officer's home in Los Lunas. And we've confirmed the investigation led to the dismissal of more than 150 active DWI cases in Bernalillo County. During Monday's city council meeting, Councilor Dan Champine highlighted the lack of communication from the administration. I'm just really frustrated that there's been a lack of communication with us and a lack of communication ultimately with the people. The people of Albuquerque need to know that their leaders are engaged in this and there has been no communication from them. None. And when they reach out to me, I can't give them any more. City Councilor Luis Sanchez blamed the situation on those at the top. Leadership is 100% the issue when it happens. And I, and I even say it's the leadership of the mayor and of the police department in reference to these kinds of things taking place. I know you're going to say that this spans within a certain amount of time frame, but you know what? It, who's, whose lap does it fall on? Council President Dan Lewis also pointed to leadership. This investigation, it does appear to show some unchecked corruption uh, within the department. Uh, and these are allegations that are widespread um, of actions by Albuquerque police officers. And to be honest, it's uh, the leadership of Chief Medina, uh, the leadership of the APD brass, the leadership of the administration. Uh, these are the questions that we're going to continue to ask and continue to talk about. Mayor Tim Keller released a statement about the investigation today, saying in part, it involves a handful of longtime officers that goes back a decade, and any people involved will never work for the city again and should be held accountable. Now, during the city council meeting, President Dan Lewis says he demands APD Chief Harold Medina come to their next meeting to address the council's concerns. Now, Julie, councilors kept talking about the lack of transparency from the city and APD, but today you heard a different perspective from Chief Harold Medina. Yeah, that's right, Monica. And he had some really strong words for the councilors who spoke up last night. Chief Medina says councilors were frankly out of line with their requests for the department to release any information about this confidential investigation. Chief Medina says this investigation is too important to the people of Albuquerque and the officers honestly doing their jobs every day for him to give in to political pressure. Council was out of line last night. Uh, they are not privy to criminal federal investigations. You know, it's very disappointing. We have two former law enforcement officers on council and they were talking about how they didn't get the memo that this was occurring. I'm sorry, nobody outside of the fifth floor and some key people at APD knew that this investigation was occurring. Okay. Chief Medina did reveal a few facts about the investigation today. He says APD's investigation into the DWI unit started in December of 2022 after an internal complaint. APD also confirmed four officers are on administrative leave and one is on administrative reassignment in connection to this investigation. We'll have much more from Chief Medina coming up on KOB4 at 6.